Hi friends, I'm so excited today because there's a brand new update in Sins Free Play. It's the hot simmering summer update. But today I really just wanted to play with the brand new feature slash location, Midtown Cafe. So as soon as it launched, I updated my phone, um, my app, and I wanna go ahead and play with you guys, see how it is, because it's a brand new thing. So here it says, opening Midtown Cafe, start up your own cafe in Midtown, manage your staff, expand your cafe, and earn fantastic rewards. As you can see, it's very expensive for me, but I believe this varies depending on how many buildings you have and the level of the game that you're on. I mean, it varies depending what level you're on, I believe. But I hope it's not as expensive as it is for me. And it does, for me, it's taking more than two days. But I'm going to go ahead and pay for it with LPs because I'm too impatient. I just love new features, new everything in this game. I've been playing this so long. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, my gosh. So I love the bus, like a terminal. Super cool. Um, here it says, ever wanted to own your own cafe? Buy equipment, hire staff, and grow your cafe to the, be the most talked about business in Midtown. Travel to Main Street Midtown to learn more. Okay, here we go. Okay. Midtown Council has opened up a new connection to Simtown. They want a go-getting entrepreneur to bring their business precinct back to life. What's next? Okay, I'm so excited. Wow, I've seen more life in a museum, and that's why Midtown wants you to open a cafe. Okay. Let's get the Full of Beans Cafe open. Tap the cafe menu button in the top left corner. Okay, let's do that. Um, that progress bar is how the council will measure and reward your cafe's performance. Okay. Happy customers will award your cafe likes. Likes give progress toward milestone rewards. Okay, let's go. Um, the first milestone reward is a toaster. Receive it for free if you earn the required likes before the timer expires. Okay. Um, fail the timer and you will have to purchase the equipment. New equipment is important because it gives items that earn more credits. I hope this tutorial is not too long. I really want to just play, but I do need to learn what I'm going to be doing. Okay. The council has covered the cost of your coffee machine and your barista. Let's get to work. Tap start shift to start. Okay um already there are customers ready to be caffeinated mm -hmm, i get that what's next customers have a timer above their head if it expires before they are served they'll become angry and cause stress to your staff okay good to know um the customer with the orange timer is impatient they have a shorter timer tap on them Okay, let's go ahead and tap on them and see what happens. Okay, so now tap bump. They will be moved to the front of the queue. Okay, seems just like a cooking game. That customer will be served next. Dodge stress for your worker. I didn't read that. That meter above the barista, that's their stress level. If it feels completely a stress event occurs. Okay, so make sure they're not stressed. If they have two stress events at the end of shift, staff may call in sick. Three stress events and they'll quit. Ooh. Not good. We don't want that. Come on, guy. What's next? To empty the meter, tap on a specialist and select send on break. Future problem. They're fine at the moment. Okay, so they can get a break. Cool. Um, what's next? The council has organized four groups. Tour groups, I should say. Tourists give a like for every item request met by your cafe. Okay, so tour groups give likes. Tap the tour bus button. Okay. Tour one. Select. Okay, let's see which tour we're going to go ahead and select. So the challenging tour gives you more likes. and But there's a higher chance that they'll become angry. Okay. The challenging tour has money bags that give tips um, or extra cafe credits. Okay. So basically, that's the one they recommend. So I set the challenging tour. Let's go ahead and do that. And I finally play. The tour is here, and there's the money bags with the yellow timer. Tap on them. So the ones with the yellow timer. Um, now bump them before the timer runs out to earn those extra credits. Okay, great work. They're, uh, they're extra cafe credits. Okay. Once the tour is complete, there's a delay before the next tours are ready. Tours are the only way to earn likes. Okay. So check in to make sure you have a new tour. You can also access Midtown from the active task menu. 
here we go finally okay so as you can see the yellow one um you have to bump them up so they can be first this is so cool this reminds me of uh, cooking games i used to play this cooking game forever ago and like set up the restaurants um feels like the same kind of vibe and almost a little similar to the sims mobile um but it's i like having something new in the game okay it's not bad and as i was touching the barista you cannot control her at all she's a sim that's not your sim you cannot um yeah you cannot control her at all i like her outfit this seems like the way that the cafe is starting very simple you can't control anything except the queue like who goes first and who goes next i love their outfits i love the green i actually love emerald green that's my, one of my favorite colors ever and like the olive green outfit i love that I, I wish we had those outfits in our like in my inventory i like the vibe i love anything new in since replay because i love this game and i feel like it takes them so long to add like new things to the game and i want to explore the town um sadly i realized you cannot really explore it looks beautiful the buildings are so realistic and reminds me a lot of sims 4 which i've been playing recently the last few months but you cannot like do anything like see that produce like section store right there i cannot touch that that's what i want to go i want to go there to that little store i want to go across the street you can't you can only make it to like the sidewalk you can't interact with any of this stuff which i hope they really let you interact soon because it's beautiful um reminds me of the city in sims 4 and now i'm going to try to bring someone here and see what happens because i want to i want my sims to interact with this whole midtown cafe let's see let's bring this girl oh your sims cannot come to the cafe while tour is present your staff need to be fully focused on the job okay so when the tour is over i guess i'll bring them over so let's wait for that and then we'll bring them and see if we can interact okay so it says tour one complete cool so we did it now i'm gonna try and bring my sim over and see how they can interact with this whole midtown cafe but i like this so far it's new um let's bring these two girls over um it's new i like new things so i, li I like even the alleyway looks so realistic so they can go up here to the um sidewalk your sim can get there see they cannot cross the street cannot interact with the cars cannot interact with that building there which looks really cool nothing none of the shops um they are sitting down there in that furniture so i'm guessing yeah they can in sit in the front on the furniture they also cannot be a customer which really sucks so like they're just standing around they're not able to be a customer or a worker i am doesn't seem like they can be so so far that's i don't know how i feel about that but okay i guess it's fine um it's a brand new feature everything's new like you can hire people i'll show you in a second but now your own people that you created if that makes any sense at all but i think i sent the worker on a break uh, i was confused and i think she she's on a break outside but there's a customer and i had a feeling that i was able like one of my sims could replace her but no you had to hire someone else i wanted to show you this is the one of the customers drinking their coffee looks very realistic and there's my sim there sitting down the teenager um yeah let's see what's next okay so now it says that i reached my milestone congratulations you have earned the toaster it will be installed in your cafe for free at the end of the shift so i guess i will have to play with it the next shift which you have to wait between shifts um so now i want to see it says here that you can hire someone so maybe you have to hire someone to replace the worker that gets tired and needs a break so i think i i might do that hire someone to give her a break now i'm just exploring i keep going back like playing the game and then trying to explore and find anything new i'm sitting her down here because i want to find anything interactive in this whole new world but no you really cannot do much at all this is a close-up of her outfit really cute i like these ladies sitting down here now i want to see um if you can add stuff so i added the sandwich tray um i'm just trying to add anything and see what it can do you can only place it in the front um countertop 
and yeah let's have one of my sims interact with it obviously but these customers seem like they're not going to interact with it but i added also a coffee machine so they can have their own coffee because they're at a coffee place but they cannot order coffee you know what i mean um but um it is cool to me that you can kind of customize this to so your own sims can play and interact with everything that you add um while things that are already set here other sims like imaginary sims that are not your sims can play around and um you can add your own things so that your sims can be part of like the little story that you have going on here okay i just keep at like doing different things to see how everything looks exploring look how cool this looks i did this at nighttime because i downloaded the update as soon as, as it was available but i'm sure it looks beautiful during the daytime too look how cool that looks okay so it's the next day and before i edited this video i wanted to go ahead and try to like um edit this try to see if i can like change the change it you cannot make it bigger there's no space to make the rooms bigger but the feature shows up which tells me that you are able to really customize this so i'm trying trying out the floor construction and it does let you do it so i'm not going to do it yet because i want to um prepare for it and plan and see what i really want to do but you're able to do that you cannot move these countertops um but there's some of the things here you can like change like the furniture i was able to get rid of some sure i can add more furniture even this here this um bench i can change so that's cool i love th that there's some things that you can customize to your liking um this window you can change not the small main window but the double doors main window um that one you can um but i like that some things are able to be customized which i like I think that's interesting that makes it a little bit more fun now if you go up here in the menu on decor there's a way to change your bench tops there's two options i'm not going to change it because i like the walnut one right now but there's a pine cafe counter that you can also use and it seems like you'll get more options as you progress through this whole game and the q markers you can also customize them too i like the one that i have down for now but there's a whole bunch of options here so that adds a little bit of spice i feel like something more exciting that you can customize because i feel like sims free play is really about decorating and um creating homes and like building i should say that's what I'm, the word i'm looking for building so i'm glad that you're able to really customize your midtown cafe to your liking and um add things from your inventory so i'm gonna play with that very soon i'm excited and i love this let me know in the comments if you guys love this new update there's a lot more that i'm gonna play with um but for now i just wanted to focus on this brand new thing because it's so cool but thank you guys so much for watching today's video and i will see you in the next one enjoy the rest of your day bye